Hello, I've just been for a ride on Warlord in our reproduction 15th century saddle. I thought I'd take you through some of the points that make it different from a modern saddle. Um, the front is very, very protective. This is the what might be called a pommel, but it's a sort of plate. Sometimes these are covered in metal, um, but it also comes quite far down my thighs and protects this from impact. It also keeps me very firmly in the saddle as well. And then on the back here, the cantle, you've got these ears which are quite closely fitted to me. And so I can ride quite comfortably like this, leaning back, locking myself into the saddle. Um, what it means is the saddle's very bad for jumping and my legs are very straight. And you see this in medieval uh, documents all the time. You see people riding like this all the time, which is interesting. And this saddle makes it possible to do that. It's got the padding on underneath. I'll just jump off and show you a little bit about it. When you get off one of these saddles, you have to throw your leg over this because it comes, uh, this can catch you out, especially when you're in armor. But if we look on the inside, you can see that it's cut away here. So this is just a bit of padding uh, felt, about an inch thick felt goes straight onto his body. So unlike a modern saddle, which would have a big piece of leather here and lots of padding, my leg goes straight onto his side. And it also has an awful lot of padding on the back. Uh, padding on the back, padding on the front, but also it spreads the weight on the back here. This is um, particularly unique to medieval saddles. And this means you can ride in armor very effectively because the whole of the weight of the man in armor is spread across the front and the back of the horse. In a modern saddle, this is basically sawn off. You don't really get any of this weight bearing. The problem with that kind of thing though, with this construction is the saddle has to be made for the horse. So in modern militaries, uh, in the sort of 20th century, 19th century, obviously the tack was swapped over on lots of different horses or the horse would be killed and they'd have to get another horse. These are custom built for your Destria. And this is custom built for my Destria. So the form and function and expense of a saddle are very, very important and integral to the success of a mounted knight.